up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so there's a lot of things going on um in this video and just like in life in general so i have never really sat down to do a video yet for the channel it's kind of just been more like vlogs and like fun videos and nothing like seriously crazy um i'm sorry if i'm talking really weird i have to have these white strips on for a couple of more minutes um but today I'm going to do like a real makeup tutorial, like a makeup video. Um, that is what I used to do back in the old days when I did my YouTube. Um, yesterday was Valentine's Day. I went out yesterday and I did an amazing red makeup look, but I didn't film it. I'm going out again tonight um, to a party with my friends. And um, I just wanted to film the makeup that I do when I go out and everything. So yeah, I've done all my skincare and everything. So let's just hop into the makeup. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hop right in, and I'm going to kind of talk mostly about the makeup. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm talking most about the makeup, but I'm also going to kind of just chit-chat with you guys, um, just because I haven't really done that on this channel, I feel like. So, I'm going in with the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. I'm going to put this all over my face. I love this stuff. It makes my skin super smooth, and I really do think that it helps hold my makeup in place and just makes it look really good so i put that on and i like to kind of just like let it sit and soak into the skin um with my skincare products i know a lot of people don't do that but i like to when i'm doing more of like a heavier makeup look i like to start with my eyebrows um just because i am growing them out so they do look a little crazy um and i'm looking here because this is where my mirror is so i hope that doesn't bother you guys um and I'm actually out of my favorite brow pencil, which is the Fenty Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. So I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Brow Liz, which is like my original one that I've always used. Um, and I like it. It's just really dark and harsh. So I just start by lining underneath. And then I'm going to draw out the arch a little bit and just kind of define my natural shape. So I'm going to um, just really lightly fill in the front. And they look really harsh to begin with, but I always kind of diffuse them and work the product all throughout the brow hair. So I'm going to do just a little bit more filling in and then... We'll do the other one. I'm going to complete this to the other eyebrow, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I know that I look crazy. Please bear with me. Please just wait till the end. I know I look insane. I promise you, it all works out in the end. And I'm just brushing the product through my brow. By the way, I'm kind of just finishing them up. Um, and then I take my beauty sponge. This is by... Oh my god, there's a hair. Ew. And I kind of just get all of the brow product that I've brushed onto my actual skin. So just by doing that, it already calms down the product because I'm not, um, you know, having all that excess product. And then I go back again, I'm sorry, I lost it, with the brush and I kind of just brush them out. And then again, when I do more of a full coverage look, um, I do a few, sorry, if you're wobbling, oh my gosh, this setup is just so crazy, you have no idea, like, what it looks like where I am right now, um, but that is a, that is the struggles of being a YouTuber in a dorm, and, um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe concealer, this one is in 35, C135, it's like, <laughs> probably one of the lightest shades they have so I do have a little bit of a tan on it's kind of faded at this point um I promise everything ends up working out like once I put the foundation on and all that everybody's gonna be like oh my god it doesn't match you but just please wait just wait everything works out okay so I'm going to be taking just a doo -doo -doo, just a little um flat shader I need to take these off soon these are probably getting really annoying to listen to so I'm gonna just um, I put the concealer on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take this flat shader brush with a little bit of the concealer. And since I am growing out my eyebrows, I like to carve them out. So I'm going to carve out my brows. I kind of just do it. Um, nothing crazy. 
I kind of just follow the shape of the brow and then I just look at it up close. Everything looks different up close and far away. So just make sure that you're doing both. Well, that's what I recommend. So yeah, I'm going to carve out my brows and then I will show you guys the next step. Okay, so now that I have my brows carved out underneath, I also primed with the same concealer. I'm going to be setting that with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This one is in butter, and I've been so obsessed with this powder lately, and I love it. I hope you guys don't mind a little bit of the background noise. Um, my roommates are here, and they are in the room, but... It definitely is not a big deal because they're not being that loud. For foundation, I'm using my um, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. It is pretty dark, so I'm able to use it like when I have the fake tan on. So I'm just going to put my hair behind my ears. And I just put one pump on the back of my hand. And then what I like to do is take that same brush that I use. And I normally use a concealer on an everyday basis. So a lot of foundation is something that I normally don't do but when I go out and I like to look really beat to the gods and have a full face of makeup I will wear more full coverage items so I'm gonna just put this on with the brush just because I feel like I have more control and I like to do it this way and then I also bring it down my neck because I like to make sure that everything matches seamlessly Okay, so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm taking my damp beauty sponge and I bounce my beauty sponge in the product a little bit to begin with because then it won't absorb as much when you start to go pounce on your face. So I'm just going to begin by pouncing the beauty blender on my face or the beauty sponge. And this foundation is, oh my goodness, <laughs> this foundation is really good for dry skin, which is what I have. And I'm also a little under the weather. I've been sick. And I um, I think I'm getting some allergies. So my nose is a little stuffy. And I am pretty careful when I go around my brows. But, you know, I'm not worrying a whole lot. Just because I'm not looking for that insane, crazy, carved out brow. So, again, I'm just blending a little over my face. Make sure you do your neck. My camera has been giving me a little bit of some problems. Um, it's been stopping automatically. So yesterday, um, I actually wasn't going to even film this video because yesterday I did a mukbang with my sweet mate Tahara. And the entire video, um, a lot of the video was not filmed because it just like my camera automatically stops recording. I need to do some research and see like how to fix that. Um... But I'll also need to get a proper tripod because it just makes life so much easier. And um, I was cutting like half of my head off during the video, so we couldn't even use it anyway. Okay, so pause. Now I'm going in with the Kylie Jenner um, concealer. This one is in the shade Shell. Okay, these have got to go. So I'm using this concealer, and I'm going to use it under my eyes and then I'm also going to be highlighting my chin, my nose, and my forehead with it as well and since I've been blowing my nose a lot I'm just going to put some right there as well because I've been blowing my nose a lot and then I'm going to blend that out as well so like I said I was trying to do a mukbang with my friend Tahara um, and just like everything got ruined and it was, oh my god, it was just such a mess. So I just quickly decided to just do a makeup video because first of all, I've been wanting to do one for a while and second of all, it's just like the only thing that I could film because I have, I worked this morning and, um, sorry if you hear like a rustling down here, I'm fixing my stance or posture. I was uncomfortable. So... I went to work this morning and I got out, um, I worked 9 to 5, so I just don't really have time to like do like a huge video, so I was like, you know what, I'm going out, I'm going to just film my makeup while I'm going out. Okay, so now that I have this blank canvas pretty much, I am going to set it with the same Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder.
Um, but I do like to put it all over so that I can blend all of my other products really smoothly on top. So after I do that, I just kind of like to go through and dust all, any excess powder away. So the next thing that I'm going to do is contour my face. Um, I would say I do more of like bronzing than I do contouring. Um, sorry, I'm not even looking at the camera. Um, and I know my last video, um, I'm taking the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. It's the first one. It's just the mini size. And I'm taking a shade and light contour and shade. No, shade and light brush. Um, I'm taking the light side and I'm just going to start contouring my cheekbones and my temples and my jawline. So, um, oh my goodness, I totally forgot what I was saying. I totally forgot what I was saying. It'll come back to me. This is the second time that I've ever wore a fake tan, so please bear with me. I hope that you guys like it, and a lot of people are used to seeing me like super freaking pale, because I am really freaking pale. Oh yeah, so my last video was a um, makeup video, kind of get ready with me for the club. It was really weird and a scatter. I also had a problem uploading that because my computer was giving me issues and it was just like a whole mess um, my bronzer I am using the Kylie Jenner bronzer in khaki and the brush I'm using is a real techniques brush uh, blush brush um, so the last video that I did um, it was kind of just all over the place and everything so it really wasn't like a tutorial and there was people behind me and there was music and sounds and you know everything um, I like to take the bronzer all over my chest and everything. Um, yeah, so my last video wasn't very informal, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit more in detail of the products that I use, and I also just wanted to sit down and talk to the camera because I really actually enjoy doing that. Um, I've been really busy with work, in school, and everything. Um, life has just been really crazy, but I enjoy doing YouTube, and I just really like it. So I'm using now some blush. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush um, in Natural Glow. I used to hate this blush, but now that I love nice dewy skin, I love it because it has some shimmer in it. And I kind of take it all throughout this part of my face. This is the Real Techniques. Um, I think this is a contour brush. This brush is so old. I've had these brushes for a super long time. And then over top of that, um, just because it's kind of sheer and it's not really a color, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Blush Trio. This one's in Peachy Love. And I really just dip into each of the colors just really lightly and I dust it off. And then I just kind of put it right on the apples and then blend it back. And again on the other side. And I like to take it all throughout here too because I just like to look like I have life and color to my face. Now I'm going to do some highlight because we can't forget the highlights. I'm going to use the Morphe and um, Bretman Rock Babe in Paris highlighting collab palette. And I take these two like champagne, golden, those are more like golden I would say. Um, golden champagne colors and I put them right here. Oh my god. Gosh, you guys, these are so pretty. And I just put it all right here. So again, I dip into both of those. And this is the Real Techniques setting brush. It's amazing for highlight. And I put this under my brow bone as well. And then whatever's left, I put on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm going to be starting on my eyes and today I'm going to be mainly using the original the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe um, and I ordered this palette when it first got released it's been my favorite for a really long time it's so universal as you can tell these right here are my favorite shades they're the most neutral I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm just going to be putting this pretty much all throughout my crease just as a nice transition shade so I don't know if you guys watch other makeup people. I'm sure you guys know who Jaclyn Hill is. She's amazing. She is just somebody that I've watched for a really long time. And I've genuinely learned so many things from her. 
um, and I support her all the way, even though a lot of people have been giving her hate, um, and, you know, she's been going through a lot of rough things in her life, but I support her so much, and the new palette that she just created with Morphe is beautiful. I want that so badly. Um, I just don't really play around with eyeshadows that much, and I just think that, you know, I wouldn't really use it just because I don't do my makeup as often as I used to. However, I do love Jacqueline, and I think she's an amazing woman, and I just cannot express enough how dramatic and crazy this world is, but in the end, we just have to love each other. Okay, so I touched on that topic. The next shade that I'm going to be going in with is going to be this shade right here. It's kind of the same shade, it's just a little bit darker, and I'm going to be focusing this more into my crease. It's going to be with the same brush. This is the Morphe M505, I believe it's a crease brush or something like that. Um, I'm going to be doing that right in my crease. If you guys have any suggestions of videos that you would like to see from me, please leave them down below. I am open to everything. Um, I'm kind of just filming what I like and what I think is interesting and fun for me to film that in that moment of time. Okay, so now that I deepened it up a little bit, it honestly looks the same. I'm going to be going in with this color right here. I'm taking the same brush um, and I'm dipping into that more of a cocoa chocolatey color. And I'm really going to just stay right in the um, deepest part of my socket in my eye. And just kind of build that darkness up, but still kind of bring it about halfway into the crease. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I'm not a huge Twitter person. I know that may be crazy to some of you guys, but I'm just not. Um, I don't know why. So I would probably take this brush, but it is full of red from my eyeshadow last night. Um, so the next color, I'm pretty much just going to be using this brush the whole night um, with the eye looks for the most part. The next color I'm going to be going in with is this in with is this darker, more chocolatey brown than the first one. Um, it is not much darker, but it is a little bit cooler. And I'm just going to again put this right in the socket and work it into the crease a little bit. So this brush is so old, there's no name on it. I believe I got this when I was doing Ipsy that long ago when Ipsy was like $10 a month. I was doing YouTube, so that was like a really freaking long time ago. So the last color I think I'm going to go in with is this deep, deep brown. And I'm going to just focus this right on the outer corner of my eye with this definer brush. And I'm going to pack that on and then go back in and blend. Again, I'm going to pack it on, and then I'm going to take my blending brush and just go back in and work those colors together. So, I used to be, you know, not so good at eyeshadow and at makeup, and it really just takes a lot of practice. But I promise you, if you just blend, and you just blend, and you just blend, and blend, until you think you're done blending, you're not. You're going to keep blending until those colors look nice and smooth and together. So the last thing I'm going to do is go back in with the very first transition shade that we did. And I'm just going to infuse that again through the top. And I'm pretty much at my brow, ba brow bone at this point. We're going to just highlight it here in a little bit. Um, but pretty much all your color is going to be your full eye. Because it is a blown out smoky eye look that I was trying to go for. Or that I am trying to go for. I'm going to be taking an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to be dipping into tempera um, and I'm going to be using this side of the other brush that I was using and I'm just going to be using this to help you know what there's a mirror in here. I'm just going to use this to help kind of clean up anything that's gone you know way 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 too far up. This kind of just lightens the brow bone and I will add more of an intense highlight when I'm done after. But then I go back in with that same blending brush and I blend again because I don't want that white, harsh line. Okay. 
Okay, so now that that's done, I think I'm actually going to be taking that and just putting it on my lid just because it has a little bit of shine, but it's also matte. And I think that it actually will look really nice with the dark colors. Again, so we're just going to blend that. And then I believe that is going to be the eye look for the top. <laughs> So I'm going to take um, this brush again, but I'm going to be going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be taking the two, oh boy, I forgot I used brown with this one. I really need to wipe it off. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with this one and this one. Hopefully, yes, you can't see that. And I'm going to be just putting it right at the highest point of my brow bone. Just to kind of highlight, and then I also like to take the excess, whatever's left on my brush, and just kind of run it underneath. And then I also like to take those same two colors, and I like to highlight the inner corner, just because it really makes everything just pop. And then last but not least, for the eyeshadow, I'm taking the same brush, and the other one that I just used as well. And I'm going to be taking this transition shade that we used in the beginning. Just because I don't like anything too crazy on my lower lash line. I've always been that way. Um, I don't normally wear lower um, lower mascara unless I'm doing like, um, you know, more crazier eyeshadow looks. Just because I just don't like the look of anything under my eye when it's a more of a natural look. So yeah, I'm kind of just going to put this under here, and then I'm going to take just a little bit of one of the darker chocolatey or brown colors, and I'm going to put this right on the outer corner. So next I'm going to be doing my eyelashes, and I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler, of course, and I'm going to be just curling my eyelashes. I've been using a Revita Lash for almost a month now, and I genuinely think I've seen a difference. I always used to think that it wasn't worth the money, and I always asked for it for Christmas or birthday, and I would never get it, and I finally just bought it, and it literally is really amazing. So, I grab my lashes. I'm going to use uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, and then I'm going to go over the top of it with another one. Um, I don't think I'm going to be... I normally would use waterproof, like if I was going out. But I'm not going to like a club or anything like that. I'm going to like an actual party. So I think I'll be okay. So I'm just going to coat my eyelashes really well. Eyelashes is what makes a makeup look in my opinion. If you're still watching. I appreciate you. And thank you for watching. I am sending a kiss through the camera. So this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And I'm just going to put this on top to lengthen and thicken even more because I don't, I don't like to really wear false lashes and sometimes I do, sometimes I will wear false lashes but I don't prefer to. I again go back through and make sure that there are no clumpy lashes. I'm going to take some Aquaphor just because I do have chapped lips. I'm just going to put some of that all over my lips. And then on the top of that, I'm going to do a gloss, the Kylie Gloss. This one is in the shade, or this is the, the name, Always Shining. So I'm, I love this. It's so sparkly and it's beautiful. So I'm going to just put that over my lips. It's like a lip gloss, almost. That is the finished look. Uh, Jeffree Star Morphe Strawberry Scent Set and Refresh. A little bit of that. Fan. Fan it. And you have a completed makeup look. So I'm going to do my hair. Um, I did like loose waves last night, but I think I'm going to do some bigger curls tonight. And I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I just wanted to focus on the makeup in this video. Uh, oh my god, I almost forgot about my eyebrows. I need to set them bitches in place. 
Hold on. I'm taking the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is just a random one that I got. Um, I wanted to try a more cheaper end brow gel. Just because I've been using Anastasia ever since I've been doing my eyebrows. Um, and it's safe to say that Anastasia is the best. But this will do the job. So I'm just running that through my brows. And I like to go upward with the front of my brow. And then I just like to kind of flatten the end and make the sharp edge. There we go. Whew, I almost forgot the brows, baby. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done an outro in so long. I kind of just wanted to do a sultry eye look that you can kind of do for going out or just wearing it, going on a date, anything that you're doing. I'm going out. Um, it's a Valentine's Day party, even though Valentine's Day was yesterday. But um, yeah, I decided to go with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I already said, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye.